My name is Rolanda Villas, and I'm an immigration consultant at the Law Office of Matthew Jeffrey in Toronto, Canada. Today, I'm going to be talking about travel documents. If you have permanent resident status in Canada, you can apply for a permanent resident or a PR card. This card is the proof that you need to show the Canadian authorities that you are a permanent resident of Canada whenever you arrive through commercial transportation such as airplanes, boats, trains, or buses. If you're a permanent resident of Canada, it is advisable to obtain this card before you travel outside the country. In case it so happens that you need to travel without having a PR card, you can apply for a permanent resident travel document or PRTD in order to return to Canada. You can get a PRTD from a Canadian visa office abroad once you reach your destination. The PRTD is the only document you can use to travel back to Canada in a commercial carrier if you do not have a PR card. An exemption is if you are using a private card to re-enter Canada from the US, in which case you can show other immigration documents like your record of landing. Before your travel, it is advisable to check the expiry date on your PR card. In case it needs renewal, apply for a new before you travel. In case it is stolen, lost or expires while you are still abroad, you can report the matter to the Canadian Immigration and apply for a PRTD through the Canadian Visa Office abroad. Some important facts that you should know about the PRTD are that you can only use it to re-enter Canada once. Also, you are not guaranteed a successful application for a travel document. The immigration officer at the Canadian Visa Office determines whether or not your application will be approved. You will have to prove that you meet the residency requirement for permanent residents of having lived in Canada for at least two out of the five years prior to the application or that you meet one of the exemptions to the residency requirement. If your travel document is refused for failing to comply with the residency requirements, this will result in a loss of permanent resident pending any appeal to the Immigration Appeal Division. Given the potentially serious consequences of a refusal, legal advice is strongly recommended prior to applying for a travel document. I'm Rolando Villas Monforte. Thanks for watching.